we just want to bring back to y'all's attention. We've been sitting here eating leftovers from Mama G's. Yes. And gee, it is good. <laughs> that place is delicious. I mean, really, we want to just, again, revisit this. Tyler, how do you like that spaghetti? Delicious. Speechless. He can't even say nothing. Speechless. I'm cracking pecans right here. I love pecans, too. All right, y'all, it is finally three o'clock in the afternoon. Well, it's 3.11 now. Why does the day after the fall time change have 36 hours in it? I mean, it seems like there's an extra 12 hours in this day because it feels like it's already been one day and it's just 3.11. <laughs> I have one of the walkie talkies in here and they have them out there and they're telling me stuff. I'm signing out now, I gotta cook. 10-4. Okay, tonight we're making a new soup recipe, but first, in honor of soup season, we're gonna share our top five soups. And I know everybody's looking for soup recipes, so here you go. We're gonna start with these top five, but stay tuned, because tonight we're making a new one that just might push one of these top fives out of the top five spot, their spot in the top five. Just don't go anywhere. We're making King Ranch chicken soup right here. All right, we are starting with broccoli cheddar soup. Even the kids request this one, especially Jake. This is one of Jake's favorites. If I remember right, he was the one who asked for it the last time I made it. Okay, Cece's got the broccoli wash. I've started on the onion, but I'm gonna go ahead and chop up, well not really chop up, but just cut this stick of butter into some smaller pieces and put it over here in our pot. I've got it on medium. So while we let that butter melt, we chop up an onion and lots of broccoli. Lots and lots of broccoli. <laughs> When we get all the broccoli and onions in the pot, we add chicken broth, thyme, garlic powder, and a little bit of salt and pepper. Then we mix some heavy cream and a little bit of flour. Add it over to the soup, and then we just bring it to a simmer and let it simmer for a little while. This is a really, really easy soup, but so good. It's way better than the canned broccoli and cheddar soup. If you've only ever had canned broccoli cheese soup and you think you don't like it, please try this homemade because I do not like canned broccoli and cheddar soup. I will not even, mm -mm, I don't even like for them to heat it up in the house because it stinks the house up so bad. <laughs> Y'all know our experiences with broccoli around here, but this, everybody loves it. This video was also filmed two days before Thanksgiving last year, and if this doesn't get you in the holiday spirit, making homemade cranberry sauce and sausage balls. What do you think? Good. It's good? Is it very good or a little good? A little bit good. I just wanted to throw that in there because it's exciting. Okay, on to the next one. Grandma's favorite, beef and cabbage soup. What's for supper tonight? Grandma's favorite, beef and cabbage soup. It's a little bit warmer today than it was yesterday. Yesterday would have been a perfect soupy day. It's not really too hot. It's like 78 or 79 today, I think. We're starting with two pounds of ground beef in the pot. We're putting in half of an onion. I have half of one left from breakfast this morning. So I'm just gonna chop this up real quick and toss it in. And then we're gonna mince two cloves of garlic. So we've got our ground beef, onion, and garlic in there. We're gonna use half a head of cabbage. I'm gonna chop that up. Four ribs of celery. We're gonna chop these up. Then we need a can of kidney beans. I'm using light red because we don't like dark. The recipe did say dark red, but we're going light. A can of diced tomatoes. Half a can of tomato paste one can of tomato sauce, and two cans of water. And I think that's it besides uh, salt and pepper. Mm-hmm, I think this is gonna be good. Grandma won't steer you wrong. Okay, this ground beef is almost done, so when it gets done, we're gonna drain it. I'm gonna go ahead and chop up the celery and the cabbage. I was gonna make some cornbread, but I have some of the Cheesecake Factory brown bread rolls, so we're just gonna have those with this, four crackers. Got some saltine, that's what Grandma had with it. This is a pretty small head of cabbage here. We might use a little more than half. Yeah, we're gonna go with about that much right there. We already got it washed and ready, so we'll just chop it up. Now, for the cabbage in this soup, you can chop it into really little pieces, but anytime we have cabbage or collard greens, like even if we just have boiled cabbage, we like bigger pieces. So I'm gonna leave them kind of big, not extreme, but you know, about like that. But you can cut them really little if you want to. 
Grandma won't be mad if you come little. I'm gonna go ahead and drain this ground beef. We're putting in the tomato paste and the other part of this can we need for a recipe later this week. So I'll just put it in a little container, stick it in the refrigerator. Now we're gonna put in the tomato sauce. We're gonna start with the one can of water. Turn this back up to medium now. I had it down on simmer. Now we're gonna put in the can of diced tomatoes. And you don't drain the tomatoes. We will drain the kidney beans. Looking good, looking close to chili over here, Grandma. What good taste you have. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and put that other can of water in here. I already threw my can in the trash, so we're gonna put in a cup and a little bit more. Now we'll add in the celery and the cabbage. We will gently stir this together and this cabbage will cook down. We're gonna let it sit here. We're gonna bring it to a simmer and then turn it down and let it simmer. I'm gonna put a top over it but leave a little room so we don't overflow. And it's just gonna simmer for at least 30 minutes. Okay y'all, up next we have beefy tortilla soup. Tonight we're making a brand new recipe, beefy tortilla soup. I got the inspiration for this recipe from a chicken tortilla soup recipe, but I'm changing up some stuff and we're gonna use beef instead of chicken. All right, here we go. We're gonna start with cooking the ground beef. I have almost three pounds. It's like I'm about two and a half pounds of ground beef. While the ground beef is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and chop up everything else we're gonna need. Onion one pepper some cilantro but this is just going to be for the topping but we'll go ahead and chop it up since we're going to be chopping oops dropped an onion garlic we're also going to have avocado and lime juice to squeeze on if we want to at the end but i'll wait and slice those at the end that way our avocado doesn't start turning on us so once we get the onion and pepper all chopped up we add it over in with the ground beef and just cook that until the ground beef is done and then we drain it and while that's cooking, we get out all the other ingredients. We need some rotel, black beans, pinto beans, chili powder, cumin, and chicken broth. You could also use beef broth, but I don't think I had any on this day, so I just used chicken broth, but beef broth will work great too. So we're gonna drain and rinse those beans. I'm gonna have all of these full videos linked down below in the description box, so if you wanna go check them out, just check down there, click that, and the recipe will be in the description box of those videos too. So once we get the ground beef drained, we're gonna start adding all of our ingredients into this pot. We start with the broth and the seasonings. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up to medium, just a little bit below medium. Let it start warming up and we're gonna put our onions and pepper back here. It's okay if a little garlic gets in there because it's going in there in a minute anyway. Back to the big pot, we're putting in one and a half cups of milk, one cup of heavy cream. This may be another one of those times when I have to bring out that big pot. I'm gonna go ahead and put the garlic back here with the onions and peppers now. I was about to put in a cup of sour cream. Yeah, that's about, it might be a little shy of a cup, but it's fine. We're putting in the black beans and the pinto beans. Oh yeah, we are barely gonna be able to fit all of this in here, but I think, I think we can barely do it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up to a little bit above medium. We're gonna put in the onions and the peppers and the garlic, and now the ground beef. I'm gonna do this gently so it doesn't splash out everywhere. So that's it, we're just gonna bring this to a simmer. We need to shred some cheese, get the avocado and lime ready. That's it.
And now, twisted taco soup. It's time to cook supper. This is a one pot twisted taco soup. So we just put in a little bit of olive oil. Jake's gonna chop this onion. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding, he was just washing his hands. If you wanna chop it, you can. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this on to medium. We'll chop this onion, put it in there, and the ground beef. And then when the ground beef is almost done, we're gonna add two cloves of garlic and let it keep cooking until the ground beef is done, then we'll drain it. So this does have uh, pasta in it, but you don't have to cook the pasta first. It's gonna cook right in here with everything else. Okay, so we're just getting the onion chopped up and added into the pot. This was a recent video. I think it was actually last week even. So like I said, I'm gonna have all the videos linked down below. This one was really good, y'all. I was actually a little surprised because we've made lots of different kinds of taco soups and we've never added pasta to them before. So I didn't know how everybody was gonna like this with the rotini in it. They loved it. Everybody loved it, especially the younger kids. This was instantly one of their favorite soups pretty much just because of the rotini pasta being in there. <laughs> I think the picante sauce made it a little different too because normally with the other taco soups that we've made, we use salsa or even just nothing, just rotel or diced tomatoes or whatever, but that picante sauce gave it a little bit of a different flavor. It was great. It right away became a family favorite. Okay y'all, number five in the top five is Supreme Pizza Soup, and it is my personal favorite. This one, it's number one. Okay y'all, for the Supreme Pizza Soup, the first thing we do is bake some Texas toast. This is garlic Texas toast. This is a 30 minute meal. Okay y'all, we got the garlic bread in the oven. Now we're just gonna chop up this onion and bell pepper, and we're gonna go ahead, I think I'll go ahead and put the Italian sausage in my pan over here. We'll go ahead and turn that to medium. Oh, I need to set a timer for the bread. We just need it to be in there for about eight minutes. And I'm just gonna put this onion and pepper straight over in here with the Italian sausage. Cheese making cheese for supper. Cheese? Yeah. They're talking to each other with the walkie-talkies. Jonah and Sissy are outside. <laughs> she wanted to know what was for supper. Tell her it's Supreme Pizza Soup. It's Supreme Pizza Soup. Perfect. That was perfect. Yeah, it's really yummy. All right, so while this is cooking, we're gonna chop up some pepperoni. Maybe about two thirds of a cup, I guess. This doesn't have to do anything perfect, just a rough chop. Sorry, that sauce is getting pretty loud. You wanna make sure you save some pepperoni to go on top of your um, Texas toast, though. So save at least depending on how many you need to make, save um, at least for about three to go on top of the bread. All right, we'll go ahead and take out the bread and we'll just sit it over to the side for now. Okay, sausage is just about done. We're gonna go ahead and put in the pepperoni. We're just gonna let this cook for a couple of minutes. Then we'll remove it from the heat and start the soup. In this pot, we're gonna go ahead and start putting our soups in here. We're just using this Progresso tomato basil soup. I have four cans of it. I'm thankful that they have the pull tab tops. Now, I'm like more than doubling this recipe, I think, but I'll put the original down below for y'all. Now we're gonna put in one can of Rotel. I had the great value kind, but it's the same thing as Rotel. Just some tomatoes and peppers. Okay, so we took the sausage mixture off the heat. I've got it right over here. The sausage is all cooked through. We're gonna stir the soup and tomatoes. Still have this on medium right now. And we're gonna put in half a cup of milk. There we go. Now I'm gonna add the sausage mixture in here with the soup and I'm just gonna drain it as I add it in. It's not a lot to drain, but there is just a little bit. So I'll just do that as I add it in. Okay, we just stir that all together and this is it for the soup part. Now we're gonna bring back over the garlic bread. I still just have this on just a little bit over medium. Now we're gonna take some sliced mozzarella cheese. You can use whatever kind you want. The recipe actually said provolone, but we're going with mozzarella. 
and we'll just put a slice on top of each piece of toast. Now we put some pepperoni on each one. I'm just going to go with three, I think, just like that. You accidentally got out two extra, eat those. That's what you do. Now we shake on some grated Parmesan. We're going to turn the broiler on in the oven. These are going to go in just for about three to five minutes until the cheese is melted. And by then, the soup should be simmering and we'll be ready to eat. I've been excited about this one. Mm, that's delicious. And back to the future, we're making King Ranch chicken soup tonight. So we're starting with a couple of tablespoons of butter in the pot and I'm just slicing up some peppers and onion. This is a pretty easy recipe and comes together quick because we're gonna use a rotisserie chicken. As soon as I get these peppers and onions in the pot, we're gonna mince some garlic and then we'll shred this chicken. Okay, peppers and onions going in the pot. And it's about to start smelling good in here. I think this is going to be enough chicken here. I'm just going to chop it into smaller pieces instead of shredding it because it's cold. It's been in the refrigerator, so chopping is going to be a little easier for this. Okay, we're going to put the garlic in over here with the onions and peppers. We're going to put two cans of diced tomatoes and green chilies in the pot. We've made a King Ranch chicken casserole before, but never the soup. So I'm excited to see how this is. Okay, we got the two cans of Rotel. Well, I have Great Value. It's not really Rotel. It's the Great Value brand, but it's the same thing. Now we're gonna put in one can of cream of chicken and a can of cream of mushroom. We're gonna mix this all together. I'm gonna turn it back up to medium. I have turned it down just a little bit. I better get my apron now. We're gonna get a little splashy. Okay, now we need some chicken broth. I know I'm going to use this whole carton. It's uh, four cups. We'll see if we need to add any more when we get everything else in here. All right, we're going to add the chicken. You'll hear a little Christmas music in the background. Just a few more ingredients and we are almost done. We need a teaspoon of chili powder, which I just purchased. Where are you, chili powder? Oh, there it is a teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of dried oregano, and just a little bit of salt. And that's it, we're gonna bring this to a simmer and then we'll turn it down to low and let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. taste this soup. It smells good. Really good. It about cooked my tongue. <laughs> it's a really light soup. It, it's not a heavy soup. It's uh it's almost like a I'll let it cool a minute. It's almost kinda like a it's almost like a chicken stew. Kinda. It's more like a stew, I think. And it's um it reminds me of chicken noodle soup, but no noodles and a little bit, bit more of like a Tex Mex style. Kind of like a Texas taste. Yeah. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Y'all, the time is now 10 minutes after 6 and it feels like 10 o'clock. <laughs> okay, I think this lid will fit now. So, the soup. It doesn't make the top five 
for me, I'm not even sure it makes the top 10. It was good, but it was, it was almost like chicken noodle soup, like I was saying whenever Titus was doing the taste test. It was almost like chicken noodle soup without the noodles, and then, you know, add the peppers and tomatoes and all that. So, it was good, though. I'm not saying it wasn't good. It's, I just, it's definitely not one of the top five. But yeah, in the morning, oatmeal is happening. I'm just gonna leave this sitting over here. Oh, and I have some dried cranberries. I like to put some of these in my oatmeal. This was in the pumpkin overnight baked oatmeal. If y'all missed that video, I'll link it down below. I really like these in the oatmeal, but I'll just sit it out for a topping. Also, we have some crushed pecans. We can sit out for a topping. There we go. Breakfast is set up for in the morning. Monday, here we come. If we ever get there, it is only 6.15. <laughs> we have a visitor that keeps coming up to the window. Oh, here he comes again. Ah! <laughs> it's George. George, you're supposed to be in the front with Martha. Guarding the pumpkins. Mainly put on some bear encounter videos. He loves animal documentaries and animal encounters. How can a bear? That's a little bear. He better watch out. Mama's somewhere. Is that a baby I think. That looks like a baby brown bear. Whoa. Bears can pull. Yeah. Bears can do a lot of things. They can open car doors. They can open house doors. They can open house doors. They sure can. Wait, here comes the bear. It's coming inside? Mm-hmm. And it's definitely a mama. Look, it's like, wait a minute. This one steals candy from a gas station. It goes in here, and y'all, we were watching this one night, the first time we had ever watched it, and Titus was like, he was acting like the bear, and he was like, I smell Snickers or something like that. And there is one clip where it totally goes and eats a whole bunch of Snickers bars. <laughs> He smelled the nuts in those Snickers candy bars. <laughs> Apparently bears like candy bars, huh? I guess I'm gonna wash up all these eggs since I have some more time on my hands. <laughs> 